we have another amazing Clash Royale World Royale League match. Germany against Norway. That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I'm so hyped for this one. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have so much fun here. Germany against Norway. There we go with the first match. Let me get some audio. Hey, Helly, ich feier dich richtig. Hallöchen, Helly. <laughs> there we go. We start off with a bar barrel. Barbarian barrel. Stopped by the prince. I mean, that's just, mm, I don't know, waste of prince. But anyway, we're gonna see how that goes. Flobby here with the prince for the tower. And the barbs around him. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he just got killed. Hmm. <laughs> he just got killed easily. Easily. Not what you want. Getting killed like that. But yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Avalon, ich feier dich auch. I'm the fastest boy. That's nice. Thanks so much. Fastest boy. Pop Deutschland from my films. Awesome. Yeah, you can write German. You can't auch Deutsch schreiben. Ich verstehe das problemlos. Thus, the main language is English, and I may answer in German, but then I will always translate in English. So don't worry. It's all good. We're gonna understand each other. It's gonna be chilled and cool and easy and fun and yeah, what everything ever you like. <laughs> whatever you like. Amazing Clash Royale. Flobby against Peace on Earth. The Musketeer actually getting a shot there. Flobby is just a little bit behind and then the princess gets a snowball in the face. <sighs> Poor princess. That must have hurt. That must have hurt. For which country are you? Um, well, you know, I'm Swiss. <laughs> so I'm neutral, of course. I'm neutral. I'm just for the better. The better may win. <laughs> Better may win. Graveyard. Graveyard poison on the tower there. Floppy playing graveyard poison. And the good thing here is that poison also hits the pump. So that wasn't so good here for peace on earth. That's not gonna make him peaceful. <laughs> expo. Oh. It's an expo versus graveyard. It's possible. It's possible but not easy. Expo versus graveyard. It's not easy for the expo. So the double prince just got killed. Peace on Earth. It's a, such a kind name. Yes, Merle Goon. <laughs> I'm the fastest boy. Says I'm from. Ger I'm, I'm for. I'm for Germany because I'm from German Germany. <laughs> because I'm German. That's okay. Dark prince going for the expo. That's a tough matchup for both, kind of. But then on the other hand, peace on Earth. He does not have a poison. He does a snowball. He does have a snowball though, so he can defend with the snowball. But it's hard. It's hard for both. We already start with a tough matchup. By the way, the format has changed. I don't know if you noticed, it's now a best of seven. And no global bans anymore. It's just bans per match. And it's a best of seven. So the first team to have four points wins the match. That has changed. It has changed. That's what it is. My English isn't so good. It's okay. I understand you. <laughs> you can also write German. Don't worry. Write in German. Whatever feels comfortable for you, fastest boy. Schreib einfach in Deutsch, was immer sich gut anfühlt für dich. Okay. Double print. Double print. Bar barrel. Oh, hitting the... Oh, wow. Look at that graveyard. Defended with the barbarians. That's tough. Still. Still, that's dangerous expo there. Musketeer. Musketeer going for the expo. Very good placement there of the musketeer. But now the musketeer got pushed by the snowball. And then refocused on the barbarians. And the expo did connect. Peace on earth. Scoring here against Flobby. Getting his tower to 1352. Graveyard on the tower. Graveyard Dark Prince gonna die early and the barbs. So Peace on Earth decided to defend Graveyard with the barbs. Which is a good defense. It's not perfect, but it's good. It's good. Barbarians now gonna be sappy, sappy, sappy. 
Weggezappet! <lacht> Die geht zappet! Zappi, zappi, zappi! Another Dark Prince. Dark Prince on the run. Yeah, that Expo placement there with the Tesla is very tough to break through here for Flabby. And then the Expo gets connected to the tower. And the Musketeer is connected. And that is First Tower. First Tower for peace on Earth. He's a peacemaker. <laughs> he, he killed that tower like a peacemaker. And here's the full deck that they just played. Dang, there you are. Graveyard Poison with double prints. That's interesting. Against a regular Expo Tesla deck. 0-1. Flobby. <clears throat> All the German viewers count on you, my Flobby. Sappy, sappy, sappy. Sappy, sappy. Ready for action. Yes, we are ready for action. Ready for action. We are, we are. Let's go, Flobby. Next one. Let's go. Match number two. Flobby against Peace on Earth. Match number two. Flobby against Peace on Earth. They're getting ready. Let me take this off because otherwise I'm so loud. Starting off with a little ice spirit. The ice spirit's on the way to the bridge. Facing the little archer there. And the mortar. So peace on earth stays with siege decks. First expo, now mortar. Flobby going with lumberjack. Hopefully for Flobby, he selected beatdown like golem or giant. Maybe he did, we don't know, but that mortar, of course, that one hit. That mortar hit. We don't know what he selected. That Expo deck is so annoying, says JSC Bouchard. Hmm, good rocket. Oh, that rocket also hit the Musketeer. That was good value. Musketeer Balloon, says 2004 Windsor. And the balloon will actually get to the tower, drops one bomb, but then drops the death bomb. Good push for Flabby. The balloon just scored. Balloon. Royal Hawks. Royal Hawks. Oh! Flabby does not have a building to distract them. He has Bar Barrel though. And he has Snowball. So that should work as a defense. But it's hard. Royal Hawks. Rascal Boys. Up in that push. It looks good for peace on earth though. Right now there's the next mortar. Ice golem for distraction. Gotta take out that mortar. <laughs> the barbarian going for the musketeer. But there's another barbarian going for the mortar. And that was a great defense here by Flobby. Also excellent reaction there with that bar barrel. That was just an excellent reaction. It was. Balloon. There's the next balloon. Balloon Lumberjack. That's such a uh, such a cheeky attack. Freche attacke. A cheeky attack. Because it's just pushing that balloon with rage to the tower. But yeah, this time it didn't get there. Good defense there by Peace on Earth. Norway. Bringing Peace on Earth in the first game. But now Flobby pushing there with another Lumberjack. The Lumberjack getting killed. Now the next Mortar. Flobby gotta defend that Mortar. He doesn't have Ice Golem ready. Then the Musketeer gets hit. The Bar Barrel's on the Mortar. And once again Flobby is able to defend. Well played there my friend Flobby. Flobby. Balloon. Another Balloon Charger. Oh pulled away to the Mortar. But that's not the way he wants to use the mortar for defense. That's not good. He doesn't want that. <laughs> hmm. Remember, there are no draws in World Royale League. No draws. No draws. So, lowest tower will lose. Ich muss essen gehen. Enjoy your meal. Guten Appetit. <laughs> Fast this boy. Guten Appetit. The balloon raged again. Rage to the tower and drops a death bomb. Death bomb got dropped on the tower. Now it's 10-10 versus 10-50. Flobby has one. Not yet, RK. Not yet. Good rocket. Now he de decided to use rocket for the balloon. That's the safe way to play this. But it's expensive. It's expensive. It's one elixir loss every rocket. 
Unless he hits something else. He should just rocket the Lumberjack Balloon. If he hits both of them with the rocket, he's fine. If he doesn't, it's expensive. Now the Balloon going for the Mortar again. Good snowball. Balloon dropping the Death Load. And ta-boom! <laughs> Mortar's still there. There's the Royal Hawks. We haven't seen them during the game. We see them at the start. And now they're back. The Royal Hawks getting some heads into that tower. Yeah, the windows were closed, so they couldn't look in the tower, but they smashed their heads at the tower. The balloon! If the balloon hits, it's over. We know it! And then it hits, and Flobby wins this one. It's 1-1. One, one. Oof. Oof. That's really the word here. Oof. And here's the deck they just played for every one of you that wants to copy the deck, but really, oof. That's the right word to say here. Oof. It's over. It's 1-1. One, one. Bobby versus peace on earth. Will he bring peace on earth? Or will Flobby win over peace on earth? <laughs> Dark Prince for the goblins first. Barbarrel. Barbarrel bats. Yep, nice defense. Now the minor bat push. But he's got the snowball. Still the miner's gonna do some little damage there. Miner. Mega Minion, that was a waste of Mega Minion and I bet he's gonna bite the table for this. He thought he still needs to play him, and but the Mega Minion was not needed. Now this is good here, Peace on Earth pushing all the lane the moment the, uh, the Golems played. He tries and pushes all the lane, the Prince gonna hit the tower, the Bat's hitting the tower. Oh, that's tower. Oh no. Now Floppy has to push everything into that push, but Peace on Earth also has Inferno Tower. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. The Inferno Tower burning everything that Floppy has. And that little Golemite will not even reach the tower. Well, Peace on Earth has a counter deck here to Floppy. It's very unfortunate. He got Inferno Tower for the Golem, that makes it really hard. And if he pushes all the lane the moment he plays Golem, we're not yet in double elixir time, it's really hard. Miner distracting the Dark Prince there, making sure it gets killed. I demand for Sensei Beast to play, says Pretoria Titan. Hello Pretoria Titan. Long no see. Awesome having you back. Inferno Tower is broken, says J.C. Bouchard. We'll see. What is he gonna do about that Inferno Tower? I mean, he has Electro Wizard. But of course, Peace on Earth will try and kill the Electro Wizard. At least with Poison, with the Barb. But that Barb Barrel was not good. However, there is just too much stuff. And so the Electro Wizard, if it's still there. No, it's not there anymore. Couldn't go for the Tower. So the Barb Barrel and the Poison is enough to kill the Electro Wizard. And it's tough. Also, though, notice that Peace on Earth cannot score. It's very hard for him to score. He's very defensive. Now the Golem maybe with the Electro Dragon, maybe that's stronger than the Electro Wizard because the Barb Barrel doesn't work, but there's bats and everything, so the Electro Dragon is very distracted. Goes down, Snowball. But there's so much defensive power there by Peace on Earth. Putting everything into defense and securing his win here over Flobby. Oh, Flobby. Flobby's out. Oh, no. There's the decks. Oh, no. What just happened to Flobby? That. Tweet has disappeared. Full tilt god said. Huh, I don't get it. Anyways, happy you're here. Happy you're here, Pretoria Titan. Yes, we started on Twitch this week again. So this week is on Twitch. And we had a lot of fun. So <laughs> we may have the live streams on Twitch, but the uploads, of course, on YouTube. Thought you were streaming on YouTube. Yeah, that's the thing. Probably a lot of people think so, but I actually put up a story on YouTube. Did I? No, a message. 
A post. A post on YouTube. Not a story. But I put a post that I'm on Twitch. So maybe. But that's hard because YouTube, you know how it is. They publish it to some people, but not to all. It's really hard to reach your audience on YouTube. And that's also one of the reasons why I don't like YouTube so much. For streaming. It's hard to reach your own audience on YouTube. <laughs> you can't tell them something. They won't see it. It's so annoying. Balloon! Matthew with the balloon. And the bomb explodes. Good bar barrel. Matthew against peace on earth. Bar barrel for defense. Lobby's already out. Can you believe it? That was fast. That was so fast. Germany, of course, is a great team. And it's not over yet. That balloon missed. Inferno Tower missed. Even the snowball couldn't push it into <laughs> Inferno Tower range. Unlucky. Oh, balloon on the tower. Look at how much damage that balloon's making. That's crazy. 226. Oh. That hurts. That one hurts. Miner. Miner, Skelly, Snowball. Snowball. I think notifications on Twitch actually work better than on YouTube. Always the same thing for a year or two years. That's what it is. However, I know a lot of people probably wait for this live on, on YouTube and... Hmm. Well, <laughs> it's a problem since I'm not allowed to dual stream anymore. But anyway, that's a win here for Matthew. That was a very good balloon push. Actually, it was a mistake. Actually, he got that point mainly because of that misplaced Inferno Tower where the balloon sneaked by and got to the tower. Matthew against Peace on Earth. Matthew has the chance here to kick out Peace on Earth and get the 1-1 one -one for Germany against Norway. The Mega Minion. Hidden. Lumberjack, Musketeer, Hog Rider deck. Hog Rider deck. I think he plays a beatdown. Looks like Peace on Earth is on the way with a beatdown. JSE Bouchard, don't think so. He was playing with SLO early this morning. Okay. There's the Hog Rider! Hog Rider! Pulled! Nice pull to the King Tower, the Golem. Golem marching his way here for peace on Earth. The Golem is on the bridge. A little tiny little Golem making his way. Stomping to the cannon. Getting frozen. Frozen golem. Going for the cannon and it's gonna explode before it even hits the tower. But we're not in double elixir. In double elixir it's gonna be hard to stop him. Hawk Rider though. Good score there. 117 to go. Lobby so far really good. Caparez says, too bad, he's the biggest star of my country. Helge, Helge Andre, yeah, we had him in many, many live streams actually. That's why people should always make sure they also follow on Twitter, if they have a Twitter, because my infos are always on Twitter. That's the easiest way to reach everyone. Could have made an Instagram story and a YouTube story, but then if it's not shown to people, that doesn't help. Maybe make a YouTube video as a as a notification, but that's just spamming the channel. So I used to do that for passwords, actually. <laughs> Bob's the moon of your country. What the moon? Full tilt God in the house. Hey, awesome. Hog Rider. Yeah, now in this phase of the match here, it's tough to stop the golem. Very tough. But there's the fireball. That's a win for Matthew. They don't update the scoreboard. That's bad. It's always late here with the scoreboard. 
There seemed to be a little bit in a hurry. A little bit of stress there, but that was already the second match. Here's the deck, 1-0. And... 1-0 before, so that is point for Germany. One point, Germany. Deutschland, ein Punkt. <laughs> Sounds like Eurovision contest. Hmm. <laughs> like when they announce Germany, seven points. Norway, eight points. From very long time ago, I may have got a tweet. Night! Night, hello! Night 2403. Hello, welcome. We're having this amazing match with Matthew against Sigurd. Matthew looks like an expo deck. Like an old, a classic style expo deck. So far, there's a lock. Or could be Goblin Bear. No, I think it's Echo. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. And Sigurd with Miner. Is it Miner Poison? Is it Miner Balloon? There's the Expo. See? <laughs> I know my decks. <laughs> Is it a plane? Is it a bird? No, it's a balloon. It's a Miner Balloon. Balloon going for the Expo. That was a good defense with the Inferno Tower. Expensive, but good. Uh, but the Expo still connects. The Balloon wasn't able to destroy the Expo. And that was a good one here for Matthew. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's a flying machine. No, it's a balloon. This time it's a balloon. <laughs> we used to say it's a flying machine, but it's a balloon. It is a balloon. There comes the Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard, like a blizzard, on his way to the bridge. Gonna kill that little archer. <laughs> and the Expo in defense. Expo hits the rascal. With fire, lightning speed. The rascal boy goes down. Now the next balloon. Balloon trying to hide behind the ice golems. Not gonna work. The Mega Minion working on that balloon. Hitting the balloon hard. Oh, the rocket! Yeehaw! That rocket with the goblin on it. It looks so great. That ri rocket riding goblin. Looks great. Okay, another ice golem balloon push. Minor balloon. Yeah, that miner's not going anywhere. Not while Matthew. Yeehaw! There's another one! <laughs> With the rocket! <laughs> okay, okay. Looks good. Amazing! It's amazing. Bats going for the ice golem. Balloon, push, pull, pulled, I mean, pulled. Pulled balloon. And bang! Bang, bang goes the wizard. Next rascal boy. And we're gonna see another rocket soon. He's gonna rocket that tower. Matthew! No mercy. Sigurd with another balloon. I can already feel the rocket in the air. Yeehaw! There's the next rocket and dang! 56 with a lock. Rock <laughs> that tower is gone. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Matthew 1-0 against Sigurd. <laughs> okay. You can tell I love that rocket riding goblin <laughs> skin. That looks so cool. The rocket riding goblin skin. Amazing. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Matthew against Sigurd. Match number two. It's 1-0 for Matthew. Not updated in the scoreboard. It's a pity, but... We still know it's 1-0 for Matthew. Chat's very quiet. Everyone's really focused here in this match. Not a lot of people chatting. Here comes the rascal boy. Miner. They're pushing. Bats. Bats. Cancel each other out. And the rascal boy. Rascally, rascala, yippee yo Inferno Tower, burning the balloon. 
Burn, baby, burn, baby, burn balloon. Bang. <laughs> okay. Let's be serious. What is Sigurd playing? Minor balloon deck. Two cards you haven't seen. Matthew playing minor. Minor, but I don't think that's the only win condition. He's playing, there must be something else. Minus doing some chip damage there. He's still hiding one card. Rascal Boy Balloon Push is what he's trying. The Miner's on the tower, but there's that Inferno Tower. It's locked on the Miner though. That was well played. So the Balloon is actually hitting the Inferno Tower, but the Bat's taking out the Balloon already. And everything's gone. All that Elixir is gone. It's gone. Dang. Hmm. That didn't work. So Sigurd. Now maybe in double elixir he can score more. Maybe. Vielleicht, vielleicht, vielleicht. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He can score in double elixir. Comes double elixir. Full tilt god with the three dots. Now there's Inferno Tower again. I mean, what you gonna do? Matthew is toxic. Hey, White's Bomber. Thanks for the follow. No ball. Oh, the balloon. Look at the balloon. Sigurd with the balloon. Hit the tower. One hit. And the death bomb hits. It's in triple digits. Just one balloon. And he also has balloon. Matthew also with balloon. But Sigurd also has Inferno Tower. Isn't that fair? And he pushes the balloon to the Inferno Tower. That was unfortunate. But still the death bomb didn't hit. So Sigurd in the lead. And we're reaching overtime. Weitz Bomber, Weitz Aracher, vielleicht kennst du mich noch, Som somehow it rings a bell, somehow I remember, remember somehow, are you from Austria, bist du aus Österreich, irgendwie, glaube ich mich zu erinnern, maybe I somehow feel like I remember, but I'm not sure, thanks for the follow, I remember Weitz Bomber, <laughs> Bayern on the Grenze to Österreich. Ah, okay. Good. I love the hog emote. It's Royal Hog. A <laughs> nice hog rider emote. There's another balloon. Push back. Oh, that was probably an unfortunate push there with the snowball because that balloon almost went to the tower. The miner doing some chip damage there. 264. Luckily, he doesn't have a fireball here. Luckily for Matthew. Matthew is in the lead. 1-0. Seeger. And now Matthew trying to push. Matthew trying to push with another balloon. The balloon getting burned. And then Seeger is trying another push. Getting another push. Snowball. Balloon. No. Doesn't get there. But the miner gets there. And that is win. That is 1-1 one, one here. Between Sigurd and Matthew, there's literally no way that Matthew could defend that tower against the snowball. And so it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, looks like all those matches go to three. Three games. Every match, three games so far. Here's the full deck. So, hey, Nicholas. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thanks for the follow. And we start with leaking Alexi. <laughs> we start with leaking. Yep. Look. There goes the snowball fight. Some ice spirits, another snowball. And the minor push. Print. Very defensive there with the minor, actually. So far we see a lot of minor decks. Minor prince push. Oh, yeah, but he's got Valk. The Valk. Valky does the walk. She survives. Matthew against Seeger. It's 1-1. One, one. I'd love them to update the roster. That would really help. Because everybody that just joined doesn't know. It's 1-1 one, one here between Matthew and Seeger. Anton! Danke fürs Folgen. Thanks for the follow, Anton. Awesome. Welcome. Miners on the tower. By the way, everyone that is new, 
like night thanks for the follow also remember to subscribe to my youtube there's a daily video on my youtube every single day sometimes it's match replays like this one here will be on my youtube later on I owe it to the YouTube subscribers so they don't miss the matches. <laughs> I feel like I do. Miner. And around the tower prints for defense. Matthew is playing this smart. Defensive. Now Sigurd with the Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower locked on the Miner. That's good play. The Prince though is a little bit too late because of the bar barrel and... Stop by the Inferno Tower. Another Barbarian. Another Barbarian. Miners on the tower. Miners on the tower. And... Yep, the Electro Wizard. The Miner chipping. Top left. 913. 913. No ball. Yeah, he's chipping. Math is chipping the tower like crazy. Now Sigurd starts the same here with poison. Minor poison on the tower. He's just playing a regular minor poison deck actually. Both of them do. But Matthew with a prince. And the prince is strong. We don't know the last card here by Matthew. Maybe it's a balloon. Could be a balloon. Baby dragon is banned constantly here by Team Germany. That's interesting. They always ban the baby dragon. And they banned Expo there, Norway, in the match before. Now the Miner's on the tower again. Miner doing some chippy. Chippity chip, chippity chip. No ball. It's actually closer than it looks. Now Sigurd is in the lead with another Miner on the tower. Prince is a bit late. Poison. Oh, oh, is that enough? Is that poison enough? Is that going to win the game here for Sigurd? He also plays... Ma oh, 15. He just needs a snowball. Ah, painful snowball there against Matthew. And that means Sigurd wins the match here against Matthew. I'm going to show you the full deck. Here's the full deck they played. It was not a beautiful match, a tough match rather. But then Sigurd won. Sigurd versus Anka. Germany against the ruling World Royal League champion Norway. This crazy match here. Sir Gwyn thinks Norway will defend their title. We'll see. Barbarians. Another prince. Prince stabbing that ice golem, baby dragon. Baby dragon. <laughs> and baby dragon. Yeah, good one there. Lumberjack balloon push. Oh, he has to use lightning for defense, but the lumberjacks are on the tower. At least the Mega Minion may stop the balloon. No! What an amazing snowball there by Uncut. <sighs> One push was enough here to get that tower, but that was excellent, excellent play. Wow, amazing. If I knew how to make a clip, I'd make a clip. <laughs> but I never know how to do it. Dang. But that was excellent. <laughs> Another golem, Sigurd with golem. Against Balloon Lumberjack. Balloon Lumberjack is popular and strong. Golem Prince pushing. Snowball. Golem still pushing. Golem still pushing. He can't stop him though. Yeah, not getting there. Prince is dangerous. But he's got Ice Golem to defend and stop the Prince. So that worked well. Now the bat's working on the Prince. He's stabbing the tower once. But that's of course not enough to get a tower. Not enough to get a tower here. Uncut. Strong push. Their first strong push. 
Did anyone make a, a clip of that? <laughs> Did anyone make a clip? That was, was a cool push. One push gets it all. That was a one push get it all. Ooh, I needed that. Now though, Golemites there on the tower also getting it to 582. 582. Mega Minion. Mega Minion. Stopping the Lumberjack. This time no balloon. Only six seconds. Yeah, that's a win here for Uncut. I told you. I told you. Uncut is very strong. But so is Norway. And this is a 1-0 here for Uncut against Sigurd. I'm showing you the full deck as always. Just for a few seconds. Later on you can just stop the video if you want to copy the deck. That Lumberjack Balloon deck is really, really strong. We see it a lot. Really fast. That was really fast. Give me water. Give me some water. Please. <laughs> Give me some water, please. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, that, that's what's on my mind. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Why is the chat so quiet? Everyone's watching and focused and <laughs> nobody, people not chatting. We need some chat hype here. Give me some hype, guys. It's lonely. <laughs> it's lonely without the chat. <laughs> okay. Barbs. Poison. Both of them with poison. Bridge spam, battle ram. There comes a bridge. There comes a bridge spam, battle ram for the tower. Gonna hit it with its power. Bandit versus bandit minions. Minion bandit push. I don't know about that. Defend it easy with one snowball and some skellies. Battle Ram Bridge Spam with power to the tower. Hype! Yeah, there you go. Maragoon got the hype. <laughs> He's got the hype. Hype. Welcome to the hype train. Royal Hawks. Amazing Royal Hawks push. The Royal Hawks are on their way to the tower, but getting destroyed there by the Dark Prince. Yeah, Dark Prince is very strong, and he's very strong against Royal Hawks. The buff on the Dark Prince, I don't know about that. What do you think about that buff? I feel like the Dark Prince is very strong now. That's going for the Bandit. Killing it. Easy. Seeker now playing the P.E.K.K.A. here for defense against the Royal Hawks. No Dark Prince this time. So the Royal Hawks bumping their little heads into the tower there. With power to the tower. And getting a few. And now the Barb's going for the... The... the, the, the the battle, the battle ram, the battle, battle ram, all those rams here, rams everywhere, the barbarians, only one bandit trying to stop them, and the barbs getting the tower, another bandit's gonna support, royal hawks on the tower on the top left, royal hawks doing a lot of damage there, dark prince trying to defend, and also the right tower just fallen, yeah. fallen, fallen. And Uncut gets a quick win here over Sigurd. A quick win here. And that's already it. Here's the deck. Uncut getting that win over Sigurd with kind of an unconventional deck. It is unconventional. It's a Royal Hawk deck, yes. The rest of the cards. No, actually it's no, actually now I see. It's it's a regular Royal Hawks Barbs. Royal Hawks Barb Stack. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, it's actually pretty pretty typical. Except for maybe the bats and the skellies. Oh. There we go. Uncut against Helge. <clears throat> Energetic! 
Energetic, it's for Germany. Welcome, Energetic. Welcome to the stream. I quickly got to check something. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Balloon. Hi Chief, Revirte! Rewrite! Rewrite official, hello! How are you? Awesome! Thanks for retweeting all of my tweets! Or liking. I think both. Liking and retweeting. Thanks so much. <laughs> I can feel the support! I'm great! I'm all is well! All is well! How are you? All is well. Double Prince Giant, we haven't seen that. Before the recent balance changes, but now it's everywhere. 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 Giant double prints. Giant double prints. Miner getting killed. Another miner balloon push. Prince stabbing the miner. Mega minion going for the balloon. The balloon will hit the tower once. And the death bomb hit. How are you? Rewrite. <laughs> How are you? Here all is well. All is well. I really want to thank you for all the retweets. Very nice. Okay. Um, hmm. Not looking good for Uncut here. Kind of a tough start. I'm fine, thanks. I have to support amazing streamers. Amazing! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Thanks so much. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. Stop in the balloon there with the Mega Minion and the Electro Dragon. That works quite well. Now the Electro Dragon is a little bit far away there from the Inferno Tower. And then it's going to the tower. It's just ignoring the Inferno Tower. Also the Fireball there. The giant going down, but the prince, look at the prince. Prince, that's tower. That's tower with only 12 seconds. Now Helge Andre needs a push. He needs a strong push. Helge. Helge Andre, the hopes of Norway are on you. It's uncut. One, Helge, zero. In the first match, I'm going to show you the deck as always. I'm going to show you the deck as always. Here it is. Mortar. He's with a mortar. Double mortar. How, how can that happen? How can it happen that both of them decide to play mortar? Isn't that... How could that happen? Both with a mortar. A mortar match. Big mortar match. Now we're gonna see what's different in the decks. Both of them with the rascals. The rascals. Meeting on Helge's side, which is probably not good. But the Rascal Boy doesn't survive. And a Bar Barrel takes care of all of that stuff there. Miners on the tower, Minion Horde. Minion Horde. And a Miner. Snowball. Minion Horde on the Miner. So oh, we see the difference here. But the difference. It's exactly the same deck. Really? Yes, it is. It's a mirror match. All the same cards. Oh, Helge was able to connect to the tower. Uncut is defending. Helge is connected. Helge was able to connect. If you forget my name, I remember you at the Swisscom finals. Do that. Do that, Kev. Do that. <laughs> Do that next time again. <laughs> are you actually... Are you in my clan still? Are you still in my clan? Actually? Hmm. Rascal boy. Goblin gang. Or... Funny how uncut, he always plays defensive mortar. 
Miner. Miner. Helge plays it more aggressive and that seems to work. Very aggressive play by Helge. Uncut is defending. Trying to minor do that <laughs> to do minor damage. Didn't work so well. Now he's got double mortar. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, now I got the match again between rewrite and Kev. <laughs> okay, good. I spent the witch, yeah. Okay, good. That's why. Now I got the link. I got the link again between rewrite and Kev. Okay, that will help. That will help to remember. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> mortar versus mortar. The barb. Mortar. It's funny how Uncut all of a sudden switched to playing more aggressive. All of a sudden, Uncut is trying to push with the mortar, but it doesn't really work. It's very tight during overtime. Helge again pushing with the mortar. Uncut. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, the mortar doesn't connect though. The mortar doesn't connect. Both of them didn't. Now the miners on the tower. Goblin gang defending. And the snowball helping just a little bit. Just a little bit. With a little help. Minion horde. Miner. Job gang. <laughs> snowball. <laughs> it's like a football match. Mortar. Bar barrel. Mortar versus mortar. Mortar's hitting. Dang. Mortar's gone. I feel like this may be a draw, but there are no draws. Lowest tower lose. That's a good snowball, though. Miner. Uncut. Who won the first one? They, they should update the roster. It's really annoying. I think Uncut lost the first one. So, I'm not sure, though. Because it's not updated. Please update it quicker. Miner. Miner on towers, good snowball. He always has amazing, amazing snowball value. It's amazing. Barbs, oh, that's it. Barb on the tower, that's it. Uncut wins. I think it's 1 1. The rust is not updated, but I think it's 1 1. Let's see. Here's the deck one for uncut, and the other one was for uncut. No, it's 2 0. This is match set. If Uncut wins, it's a win for Germany. And Krachen, thanks for the follow. Kraken. And um, remember, Norway is the ruling champion. Germany here with a good match so far. 3-2 against Norway. Also, Norway played strong. So, but Uncut. Maybe Uncut. Maybe Uncut can win it. Some skellies. Match set. Barbs. Okay, he's playing Royal Hawks, I guess. Uncut probably with Royal Hawks. It's not sure though. Mm, maybe. I think it is. I think it is the Royal Hawks day. And I th it, it's really nice how he splits them in the two lanes. I love that. But he's also got to stop the balloon. Kev. <laughs> you have a good brain. Well, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I remember. <laughs> the balloon. Snowball. What do you went? Uh, UK is playing again. I think Saturday, and I think I'll be casting it. No, next Sunday. UK will play again next Sunday. Who do you think will win? I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> Norway is the winner from last season. Minor balloon against Barbs. I think he plays Royal Hawks. What do you think, Kevin? What do you think? There's the Royal Hawks. We already see them. Dang. <laughs> I asked my question too late. But it's actually hard. Because he's got Inferno Tower. 
And so he can stop the Royal Hawks pretty easily. He got a split barbs and Royal Hawks at the same time here to create pressure on both lanes. But with the Inferno Tower, it's gonna be really hard. There's the next round of Barbarians. Next round of barbs. And he's gonna split Royal Hawks. But there's already the Inferno Tower. He has the Royal Hawks in one lane. Maybe he should split them. Maybe that would make it harder for the bar barrel to hit him. And but the balloons also going down. This looks like a draw match. This looks like a match that's gonna draw. It's gonna draw. <laughs> draw, draw, draw. But we are. We are ready for action. That's what we are. <laughs> we are so ready. We're so ready. Nightbot is very sleepy today, by the way. I don't know what Nightbot's doing. <laughs> doing anything. Royal Hawks now on that t uh, Inferno Tower. But they're all dead. They're all dead. Spectacular! <laughs> Spectac Spectacular! Baconacular! That, you can't say that in English. <laughs> Is it the rematch or lowest tower? No, it's lowest tower, Anton. It's lowest tower. Spectacular. Yeah, that's a classic, but it only works in German. Baconacular. <laughs> Spectacular and bacon in German is spectacular. <laughs> that's what it is. Spectacular. Oh, the Royal Hawks hit. Holy cow, how did that happen? The moment I'm distracted and not watching, the Royal Hawks hit. And he's got poison. So he can double poison the tower. Two minutes is enough for that. He couldn't place his inferno tower. And then the Royal Hawks hit. Maybe he was a little bit too pushy. But I really didn't see it. I was reading chat. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. The balloon is not getting there. It's impossible here for Bob the Turtle to get the balloon to the tower. And there's the Royal Hawks again. No Inferno Tower anymore. Why does he decide not to play the Inferno Tower anymore? Poison on the tower. Royal Hawks on the tower. Snowball in the face. And the tower's gone. And it's 1-0 here. For Bob the Turtle. Uh, for, for Uncut, sorry. And next one is Match Point. And here's the full decks. Here's the full decks. Next point is Match Point for Germany. Ever. There you go. Match point for Germany. Uncut against Bob the Turtle. Norway, the ruling champion. Against Germany. Uh, when does Swisscom Hero League Season 2 start? I don't know exactly. I think it's somehow late summer, like August or September. Anton, I can't speak German, okay. <laughs> Sometimes August or September, but I'm not sure. Flying machine against the ice golem. That's... What deck did he choose? Maybe Chief can teach us some German. <laughs> yeah, you will. If you watch, you may catch, up, uh, catch some German phrases <laughs> maybe royal hawks now bob the turtle with the royal hawks flying machine royal hawks is also very dangerous combo and it seems uncut does not have a building uncut does not have a building so that's gonna be hard to defend against the royal hawks gonna be really hard barbarians brian try hearts Try hard barbarians. <laughs> they can't do it. They can't do it. By the way, Kev, don't miss. On Wednesday, most likely, it's not 100% sure yet, but we may have Team Switzerland on the stream on Wednesday uh, with a match. Um, with a, how's it called? A probe match. <laughs> Three musketeers as Meryl Goom. Lumberjack. Barbs. Yeah, he's got the barbs. The barb hawks. Barb hawks. Splitting the hawks. That's a good idea. 
because it's really tough to defend both towers. There's a snowball. Flying machine. That's a good matchup for Bob the Turtle, we have to say that. Uncut without a building, it's tough. Also flying machine against balloon and musketeer against balloon should work. And does work. And that's a good death bomb there, hitting both of them. Now the Royal Hawks. I would have split one of the Hawks to the right here. But three of them to the left. One of the right, one on the right hits. Another balloon. Balloon lumberjack push. And you gotta stop that raged balloon. Gotta stop him. And Bob the Turtle once again is able to stop the balloon. Well done, well done. Another balloon. Yeah, he's pushing heavy now with the balloon. Not giving Bob the Turtle time to push his Royal Hawks. The Royal Hawks did not do enough damage. There they are again now all in one lane. And what you actually want is you do split damage with Barbs and Royal Hawks in both lanes. And then all of a sudden rush one lane with Barbs and Royal Hawks. That's how you typically try to get tower. To take down the tower. That's a typical takedown of the tower <laughs> that's how you would do it unless you get enough split damage so now he's splitting the barbarians again splitting there's lumberjack already gun cut getting ready for the balloon cannot play him though not enough elixir he had to defend the barbs so that didn't work Flying machine going down to the bats. Dying to the bats. Can you tweet it? Then I will. Yes, I will tweet it, of course. I will tweet it. I'm not yet exactly sure if and how it will work, but I'll tweet it. If you don't want to miss news, make sure to follow on my Twitter and you won't miss any stream, whether I'm live on YouTube or on Twitch. So, it really helps for those who don't follow my Twitter yet. And there's a subscriber to YouTube. Somehow the image is messed up. I don't know. <laughs> so, for those who haven't subscribed to Twitter yet, I think it really helps if you don't want to miss streams. Actually good here for Bob the Turtle. Yeah, we expected this. It's really, really, really difficult. It's not impossible, not at all. Not impossible. Not impossible. But it's tough. It's tough. So he's pushing very aggressive with the balloon. Very aggressive. But the balloon is not hitting well. And he doesn't have a building that makes it hard to defend against the Royal Hawks. Now all five Hawks on the tower. Towers on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 28. One more push like that and it's over. But it's only 23 seconds. And then remember it's lowest tower which would mean Bob the Turtle wins this one. And then it's 1-1 one, one between Uncut and Bob the Turtle. And Germany will have another match point. Another one. Seven seconds. There's the Royal Hawks. And he gets the tower. And it's 1-1 one, one between Uncut and Bob the Turtle. Which means another match point for Germany. Here's the deck. For all those of you that want to copy the cool decks that the players play. <laughs> Anton, I just followed you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing! Ooh, I needed that. <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Okay. Is this match point for Germany? Or is that... The 3-3? Three, three? Prince hits. Oh, Sigurd accepted the match! No! Ah, that is so unfortunate. Sigurd accepts the match and that's a loss for Norway. And that costs them the match. Unless Germany would give him a rematch, but I don't think so. 
I don't think so. That's very unfortunate. Sigurd says, my bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kev, can you show us the log in the background? The log? What? Log? <laughs> oh, my God. Sig, what did you just do? Just by the rules, that's a win for Germany. I know what they're gonna do. Lobster says, please request. I think it's a win. But he lost connection. Lobster lost connection. He's the admin. Okay. Get ready. Get your popcorn. The discussions may start in a second. <laughs> discussions may start in a second. Let's see. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks. <laughs> the log behind you. Ah, that one. Anton. The log. So, I don't know. They're going to discuss. The log is actually over there. Not over there, because that's just an image. But the image looks exactly like my room looks over there. <laughs> so... So they, they seem to give him a rematch. Okay. Let's see. Maybe the maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the rules are different. Maybe. Rocca! Thanks for the host, Rocca! Hey! hey. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for the host, Rocca! For 12 viewers. Amazing! Amazing! Thank you very much, Rocca! So it seems maybe the rules have changed, I don't know. Or maybe they just talked on Discord. Anyways, it's giving a rematch. That looks so real. <laughs> there should be any rematch. There shouldn't be any rematch, but okay, fair play to Germany. Yeah, very fair. Rocca! Why rematch? Rules say it's a win for Germany. That's what I thought too. That's what I thought. But maybe they talked and Germany gave them a rematch. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I can show you the lock. Just give me a sec. Here's the lock. There it is. That's how the lock looks. That's how the lock looks. The supercell lock. Really cool. And actually, that side of the room looks exactly like what you see back here. But now it will probably be impossible for me to put the lock. The same way it was before. I will try. I will try. Over there. There's some more stuff over there. Like the the staff badge from Swisscom Hero League. I, I have it over there too. Maybe I should make a new picture <laughs> of that place. Good. Uh, do you sleep with it? No. <laughs> Maybe they didn't know the rule. I don't know. Fair play. Fair play this. They have been lost connection. Didn't see it happen. Nobody noticed. So, okay. Okay. Germany! Rocket Stone! Hello, Rocket Stone! Okay, let me focus, guys, on this match. Uh, by the way, also, let me play the Super Chat sound for Rocka. I love it. I know it's not a super chat, but I need to record something similar with amazing, so I don't have to say it all the time. <laughs> it's amazing! <laughs> it's amazing! <laughs> it's amazing! Nick, hello! Welcome, Nick! Can you bring the log to the Swisscom finals? <laughs> oh, Royal Giant? Royal Giant fireball hitting the Inferno Tower! Wow, Fireball just hit that Inferno Tower really bad. It looks good for Bob the Turtle. It looks like Bob the Turtle gonna score here for Norway. And then it's gonna be a draw between Germany and Norway due to fair play. Inferno Tower burning the Royal Giant, trying to burn it. Mega Minion going for the Royal Giant. It's been burned without any good damage. And we don't see the win condition really here that Uncut's playing. Probably it's the Balloon. I don't know. Good Snowball. Another Royal Giant. Inferno Tower. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Another one. 
Yeah, that royal giant has no chance. No chance. Uncut is in the lead. Uncut, of course, trying to win this. We want to see more matches, but he just want to win. It's understandable. It's so understandable. Inferno Tower burning. Burning the Royal Giant. Another one. That Royal Giant's gonna hit, though. Oh, that Royal Giant's good. It's on the tower. Holy cow. Tower's on 369. That's double fireball. Double fireball. And now Uncut also starting to poison. There's the first fireball. You gotta cycle to the fireball. Snowball. Oh, that's gonna be really close. Really close. You gotta defend that tower against the miner. You gotta cycle to the fireball. There's already the poison. That's gonna be super close. There's the fireball. And Bob the Turtle gets the win. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? It's 1-1. One, 3-3, one. Three, three, I mean. Because of fair play. It's one for Uncut, two for Bob the Turtle. Holy cow. Now let's see if there's discussions in the chat. Very fair by Germany though. And it's 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. That's what it is. Holy cow. Okay. Kev, I like the music. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it has a history. <laughs> Rocket Stone says, I love turtles. Well, I'm for Germany. That that almost makes one of the quotes. That would almost make one of the quote for my quote library. Oh, that's the wrong quote. This quote here. There's a quote library that plays random quotes. <laughs> 2017. I really said that? I don't think so. Mortar. Chris. Mortar. Bob the Turtle starting with Mortar against Beast. So if you type quote, it will just play a random quote. Funny random quotes from previous streams. That's what you get when you type quote. So, what is this one? You get what you give. I said that. You give us turnings, we give you loyalty. Oh, Alvin said that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Chris, you're a legend. Thanks so much. Okay. Hmm. Been here since the start. Big thumbs up for you. Amazing. Royal uh, Mortar. Royal Mortar. Good snowball. Good snowball there on the tower. Um. Ava, where are you from? Legendary Tony. I'm from Switzerland. I am from Switzerland. Julesy. Bob got... M.U. 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 Musketeers or what? Thanks, my dude. Chris, dad. Awesome. It's amazing. I'm gonna give you an amazing. It's amazing. Since the start. That's about four years old. I think it's about four years. Musketeer defending that mortar there. Would like to play against you sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to beat me. <laughs> mortar. Ram Rider. Ram Rider going for the mortar. See how that Ram Rider destroys the mortar quickly? Ram Rider Ice Golem is such a quick mortar kill. That's really brutal. It's funny that nobody uses this command. The quote command that just plays random quotes. So Rocket Stone, what you there's what you said there, damn I love turtles, but I'm for Germany, that would almost make one of the, those quotes. <laughs> we used to tell jokes in the stream and the best ones were added as quotes. <laughs> and obviously sometimes in 2017 I said it's an idiot, that's what I said. Hmm. 
Kraken. <laughs> Kraken. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we lose it. And we talk crap. <laughs> Another mortar. Another mortar. This is the decisive match. Yes, Windsor uses the quote. <laughs> Kraken, good job. Thank you. Okay, the barbs versus the more. This is a long one here. This is a long one. Ram Rider. Still almost no damage done to the towers. Now the minion horde going against the Ram Rider. But still, Beast is in the lead. If you want to hear it or not, but beasts in the lead. Chili Bee! Thanks for the follow! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ram Rider! Snowball. Oh, yeah, both of them snowball. It's a snowball fight. Snowball fight. Mortar, Bob the Turtle, he's an excellent player, trying another Mortar, going for the Ice Golem, Musketeer versus Mortar, and the Mortar going down, no hit for the Mortar, and also the girls going down to the Poison, the Rascal Boy even doesn't even get, this is a draw, but you know, there are no draws, no draws, lowest tower loses, and currently, currently, Lowest tower is Bob the Turtle, top left. That's lowest tower. And so he loses this match here. 1 0 for Beast. 1 0 for Beast. It was a draw, it was a long match. And here's the deck for that long match. So, Bob the Turtle versus Beast. <clears throat> match point for Beast. Match point for Beast. Both of them waiting. Making it very, 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 very interesting. Yeah, I think Windsor, maybe the problem is he, he, he had to switch decks quickly and he forgot to switch the card, probably. Probably. Avalon, you are kind. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> um, so. Ice Wizard. Going for the Mega Minion. I didn't think that this would be such a long match. But then I remembered that Norway is the ruling champion of World Royale League. So. Windsor. Julesy! <laughs> Which are my favorite three cards in the game? Um, I usually play golem decks actually on ladder. And besides that, I'd say it's the princess. The princess. And... Hmm. I, I love the design of the royal giant. I know a lot of people don't like royal giant, but his design is good. He's a cool car. And then besides that... Hmm. There he is, royal giant with a golden cannon. Just speaking of him, look at how beautiful he looks with a golden gun. He's the man with a golden gun. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. It's amazing. Spectacular. There's the next Royal Giant. Royal Giant on the bridge. Minions versus minions. Good fireball. Royal Giant. And the Dark Prince hits him. He cannot really score with the Royal Giant, it doesn't really work as he wished for. Dark Prince gets distracted. 
And frozen and pulled to the King Tower, but doesn't wake him up. Doesn't wake him up. Royal Giant is good in an irritating way. <laughs> Giant Print. Giant Double Print is also strong. And Beast is trying to stop it. It's his match point. It's his match point. And pushing both lanes with giants. Holy. Holy. Beast has to defend. Rise a tornado. Excellent tornado. Good fireball. But the giant's still not gonna get there. And then he shuts down the whole attack there with that ice wizard. Whoa, that was a lot of elixir in that push. Beast shut it down good. And now the royal giant's gonna shoot. Bob doesn't have a building. That makes it hard. So the Royal Giant getting two shots. He has to react very fast to that Royal Giant. Bar barrel. And he can hardly score. It's really hard for him to score. Really hard. Really hard to score for him. <laughs> Another quote. Quote 55, those guys are pretty strong, not pretty, but strong. I said that, sometimes in 2017, I guess. <laughs> Giant, there is no date, unfortunately, and some of them are date. Julesy, easy for Germany. Yeah, I think Beast's gonna make it. Beast's gonna make it, the Ice Wizard's on the tower, and he's got Fireball too, and then it's over. There's a beautiful royal giant, the man with the golden gun, but his heart is cold, cold as gold. So it's a win for Beast and it's a win for Germany. Fair play gets rewarded. Fair play gets rewarded. They could have won in set number six, but they played fair. Bob the Turtle won, and then Fair Play won, Germany won in the last set here. Beast against Bob the Turtle. By the way, I gotta show you the deck. So here is the deck. It just played. Can I click it? There. Royal Giant, classic Royal Giant deck against Giant Double Prince. That's just classics here. Win for Germany. Well played. Congrats. Germany, congrats, well played, both teams.